Hi friends, welcome to the Erin and Krista show. I'm Erin. And I'm Krista. We are busy ladies. It was hilarious at work the other day. I was like, okay, we need to pick a day to film. We're like, no, no, Can't no, it. I got no, this. She no. It's a holiday time. So. I haven't made a goddamn motherfucking cookie. Let's just sit down and talk about some of our favorite things right. from this year. All right. Year end favorites. Okay, so I'm going to start with something I haven't talked about. Let's just get that out of the way. <laughs> yeah, see? It's <laughs> just perfect. This is my new favorite candle. It's called, it's by a company called Capri Blue. Their signature scent is called Volcano. It smells to me like Kool-Aid. I keep saying that this long. And, but I also think that one of the products smells like Fruit Loops. <laughs> I don't think it smells like Kool-Aid, but it smells wrong. amazing. These are soy candles and they are hand poured in Mississippi. Their burn time is a really long time and they the price point on them is higher than a typical candle. We carry them in our salon for a really good price. They are also uh, available in Anthropology. But they're great and they, they smell so good. I love them. They have a lot of different fragrances, not just the Volcano, but they have a holiday line and all that kind of stuff. I love a candle. I have so many candles. I only started blowing them out last night. And she's like, you have too many smells. I'm like, it's all the same smell. Number it's one. It's all Christmas right now or yeah. all whatever. It's all pine. My house yeah. smells like a Christmas tree. We like candles, but very more like milder scented ones. I like a lavender candle or something a little bit lighter. Um, so these are by Aspen Bay. Mm -hmm. And they're so cute because they have like a little striped like candy cane yarn. And I just love this because it sort of sounds like Santa. And it says like a, like a little to and from tag. And they're just these little jars and they're so cute. And what's that one? This one is Amber. Juniper, I think. Nutmeg and Amber I lied. Something that I bought that I use the most I never thought it was going to is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. So it has three big shades at the top and then like the smaller ones along here. But the reason why I really love this is because I use these two on my face. Let me see. Because I'm fair. Oh, okay. And this middle one is like a taupey color, which I think is perfect for fair skin. And this is a good highlight for fair skin too. So for me, this could be something that I would just throw in a bag and could use for any look. You could do a natural look, a smoky look, a cool look, a warm look. This is a Cosmetics Naturally Pretty Romantics. It's all mattes. What I really like about this palette is, so it's it's all mattes and then it has one that's called Transforming Pearl, so it's like one shimmery shade, is she does some sort of magic to her shadows because a lot of times on my eyes or eyes that have an age behind them, when you put a matte- Mature ladies. When you put a matte shadow on it, it can show more texture. I don't know what she does to it, but it doesn't do that. Mm -hmm. It goes on like silk. So I really like this because it doesn't show texture on the eye and I, I have a lot of clientele that is between like 45 and 60. I'm starting to get like a wrinkle bile. Bile? Bile? A bile? A wrinkle? A wrinkle? Oh. <laughs> Big sad about it. Like right in this corner. Mm -hmm. It's like balling up into a piece of shit. Romeo! Well I gotta let the pig in. I love... <laughs> So this is an object that I highly recommend Good for everyone and it's the Becca Champagne Glow palette made with Jaclyn Hill. I never saw that. It has three shades. Pearl, which is like a very bright white highlight, which is great on fair skin. Champagne Pop, which is good on probably like medium or mix the two. Skin. That's what I do. Mix the two. And then Blush Copper, which is like this really pretty like rosy tone. I actually like to put this over my regular blush. But you know, just like any Becca products, they're pretty intense. Pretty shimmy. Put on my arm. Just wipe them all. Oh my yeah. god, it looks like the Sharpies of like the metallic Sharpies you buy. And it comes with this really pretty palette. Holy moly. I like the size of it and I love the mirror because I'm blind as a god blessed bat, even though they're not blind. And I do my makeup in this mirror all the time. That's our wine. Not really. They use so hard. They can't. Oldie but a goodie. My favorite thing. Oh, I'll lift. One of them is this. Mm -hmm. yeah, this is the Ben and I uh, banana powder, the loose banana powder. Um, I love it. It's beautiful. It goes on like a dream. I use it to set. It's brightening. Here, 
yeah, I, once I put my uh, Rip the Dew foundation on, I can set my forehead in between my eyes, under my eyes, and then through here. Anywhere I get creasing. Um, Wrinkle. Um, but it is, you know, it is the loose kind. They have the, so it can be messy. Okay. I just put it in the cap. I know some people like actually put it like in another mechanism of some kind. But I like it and it works. The yellow, they, they make <coughs> white ones, which I probably would use on like a translucent I'd use on her skin tone because the yellow might pull a little what salad because you're, you're fair. But the banana you works on pretty much everybody else's skin tone other than super fair. So, two, the two things I showed you were like more high end. So let's go to my drugstore love. Oh, you have all this. seen it and heard it and tasted it and smeared it on your face butthole. and your butthole and your scrotums. And the Wet n Wild Fergie highlight. Rose Champagne Glow, but it's the center stage clock trim. I've talked about it a million times. I love it. It's like three dollars. Just go. For it. I would like to just make an observation very quickly. Yes, How many of these things on this table of yours have to do with <laughs> highlighting your face? One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> um. Oh, drugstore highlight, the Kardashian beauty one. You know, I bought it. Try to give it a whirl. It's the incandescence. Man, not bad, guys. For like a not expensive one. I think it's like eight bucks or something. Does the job. I like it. I love it. I use it on my eyes sometimes too. It's a good one. Why not? Do it. You know those Kardashians like to look glowy. Very glowy. This thing, now I have to clean my brushes a lot. And because you should. But I have a lot of brushes. In fact, tonight when I leave here, I have a photo shoot tomorrow, so I'm gonna clean all my brushes. And this thing is awesome. It makes my life so much easier. I just put it in a sink and you run water and you take a brush. So see how it sits in the sink like that? And it's got little suction cups on it. And literally I put like the baby soap or whatever you use, your shampoo of choice, and just do 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 and clean. It's so fast and it's amazing and it's silicone so it's easy to keep clean. And you can store it a thousand different ways so it doesn't take up a lot of space. Like you can literally store it like that and it'll be all. fine. And I would buy it a thousand times. And they also make a mitt if you don't have, you know, a sink, I don't know. <laughs> um, I think it's less expensive. Why don't you have a sink? I don't know. But like see, like like this brush thing. for instance, I'm going off the script, but this brush for instance is a very good brush and but you can see that the top of it should be white, but right now it's got like a tone to it from my foundation. Beach. And I have cleaned this with thoroughly with a brush spray, mm -hmm. a brush cleaning spray, a Morphe brush cleaning spray, and a towel. But once I wash it on here, it'll, it'll be like white. Runs. It'll be white. It'll be the goo runs out. I would buy this a thousand times. I'm having a hard time with my face these days. So my face hates me. My face is simultaneously horribly dry and gooey. Okay, look at you. Yeah. Wow. It's that foundation. It's that foundation. So today, stop. I can't help it. I know. So, okay, just to prove a point today, I wore a foundation that I purchased earlier in this year and hated. No, I wanted to be fair because it was expensive. And I thought, I haven't used it in this time of year. So let me properly use it. I use the primer that goes along with it. And my face today is, this is like the worst it's ever looked. Like this foundation, if you touch it, it just removes itself. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what it is. It's the Hourglass Veil, Fluid Veil. It's like $60 and I want to take it and dump it in the garbage. I hate it so much that I want to like maybe like light it on fire and throw it in the sewer. So, but I wanted to give it another chance and I still hate it. Anyways, that's not what we're going to talk about. <laughs> but well, you are talking about the things that you regret buying. I am, yeah, I will. But I've been searching for a foundation this entire year and I'm sad to report that I don't actually love any of the ones I have purchased. One I like more than others is the MAC Waterweight Fluid. The Waterweight Studio Waterweight. So this person's job is to make me not look old. <laughs> so it's supposed to have more coverage than face and body. When I was younger, I wore face and body and that was it and that was fine. I don't have problem skin. I have old skin now. If you're over 35, fair, and kind of dry skin, what do you like? Please somebody help me. Uh, let's get real America. I'm turning 40 in two months. What? My skin is ruined! <laughs> ruined! Well, there's certain things we just all have to remember that makeup can't do. 40! <laughs> that makeup can't do anything about. Just keep your day. This is a recent purchase of mine that I actually got on Hotluck, like Nordstrom Rack's like, 
deal. So I don't even know if this is new, but this is a little, Lorac always has those little palettes. Like I have the matte palette that I really love that's the size. Well, this is the Metal, Pro Metals. And I really like these. These work great just alone or like in combo with like a matte shadow and you just kind of like pop this on your lid for like some shine. Let me just swatch a few of these. I do have the rose gold on. Holy moly. That's like just my hand. Like not, uh, no eyeshadow primer or nothing. I love this little palette and I don't know if it's new or not, but glad I got it. There you go. I love the lipstick I have right now. It's a liquid lipstick, but it doesn't feel weird. I don't feel a little dry and cakey and weird. Throughout the day, once I eat and drink a little bit, it gets whatever, but it's not like right now I'm fine. It's fantastic. And it is the Milani Amore Matte Lip Cream. Or if I look at the little thing, lip creme. Lip creme. Um, and this one's called Lust. And it's that brown, pinky tone. And I love this. Move. It's awesome. That's all. Good day, sir. It's a good one. And it's like $7 <laughs> as opposed to like the Stila ones are like $20. Yeah. So obviously 2015 was the year of the liquid lip. And so anyways, I have a couple of Anastasia. I have the Stila. I like the Stila, but... Let's just all get real. Who are these people who say that they're not uncomfortable? They are freaking uncomfortable. If you are going to have them on for one hour and just look pretty, that's fine. Try wearing it for four hours while you're doing hair. I literally had this on all day today and I did not feel weird. See, I have the darker shades in that and I didn't like those either. I have no problem. I've been on right now. It doesn't bother me. I, but with that being said, I'll just talk about a lip color then. Because okay. I do like some matte lip colors. So these matte sensationals, I think that's what they're called. Color sensational mattes. This one is in Touch of Spice. I have it on my lips right now, but I'll just show you this color. <laughs> I love this lipstick and it's drugstore. I'm not gonna lie, I like mostly drugstore lipsticks. I wasn't really gonna talk about lippies, but I'll just mention these other two in a very quick. The Melted Lipsticks, Too Faced, love them. This is, doesn't matter what shade. And then, <laughs> the, these are matte. These are the Lilac mattes. Yeah, those are nice. From L'Oreal, also drugstore. And matte, but very comfortable. With like, almost like a satiny finish. Yeah. Bronzer for your skinned ladies. This is the Ambient Lighting Bronzer in Luminous Bronze Light by Hourglass. It's gorge. The only bronzer I actually like. They would never show up on my face. It also has like the incandescent light, I think like swirling through it. I don't know if you can see that, but just trust me on it, folks. If you're fair. If you're fair. That wouldn't show up on it. It's very soft, very pretty, very subtle. I like this brush. All right, what else you got? <laughs> no, this is one of the brushes that we was sent to us by uh, Glow Mineral. Mm -hmm. It's called the Lux Foundation Brush. It's a flat top, very much like the Sigma brush, but I have been using this brush for the past week and a half with just my regular foundation. Fantastic. It, like, it's... It's just a treat. Mm -hmm. um, and then moving on, I like, this is, I talk about it all the time. A lot of people talk about it. I have been a you were like fan first. of this <laughs> forever. And now I see it everywhere and I'm like, I've loved this for years and years and years. This is the only beauty blender I like. It is the Real Techniques beauty blender. Um, I like that it has a slanted edge because you can really get underneath. And I like that it's got the point on the other end and it really holds liquid really well. It's a great one. Um, and they're really durable too. I've washed it a million times, and so which it needs to be washed again. But uh, I've seen them getting more popular popularity, which I'm happy about because I adore this one, and I will buy it a thousand times. Uh, and then this is the bronzer I love. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil, you know, oldie but a goodie. It's good. It's darker. See, this is what I have to have. So I like it. Plus, every time in the morning I'm getting ready, I'm like, mmm. Delicious. It smells so good. Um, that's it. I will touch upon really quickly the thing I bought that I shouldn't have bought because it didn't work. I don't have it with me. But it is a cover effects foundation, so awful. I'm sorry. I hope somebody finds <laughs> luck with it, but I, it just did, it was, it's horrible. And it's, it's in my drawer and nothing's gonna happen with it. Cause it's awful. It's absolutely just, I've never had a foundation do that to me that I can think of. And I've used a lot of them. Burn it at the stake. Like I have used, I think I have gotten a sample of every kind of foundation you can think of by every company. I did it when I was worked for Alta. I had a kind of yeah. sample of all of those. When I worked for Dillard's, all of those. Can that you get that for me? Is can you go around town? Sure, I'll do that again. <laughs> it's just like gooey. It's like 
gloppy. It's like oil and water. It just won't hold That's on to That's what my skin. face is like today. It's just like it won't, you can't do anything. And again, primed it, set it, use, you know, is that my, it's not like I'm using a primer and a foundation that won't blend well together. I know what I'm doing. It's just not fucking working on my face, man. And so that is something I never should have purchased. Purchased? Because your earrings is like scaring me. What is it doing? Well, you're just getting very fine. Oh, because <laughs> it was a stupid amount of money. Ah! And it's totally. <laughs> Can't even use it on my clients because I wouldn't even want to do that. And uh, what else did I buy that was stupid? The brow stuff. Oh, I bought the It Cosmetics brow pomade because I was on a pomade uh, pilgrimage. And it's awful. I mean, it's fine probably if you don't have to do a brow replacement like myself, but like if you have sets actual eyebrows. shiny and it sets crunchy. Oh. So it's like putting like sugary cornflakes? Yeah, like frosting on frosting. your eyebrows, like frosting. And then it just sets like a shiny cake Ugh. right here. And then the brush, they say it's like, it mimics real hair because it looks like a fence. It has like little notches taken out of it. No. Then it was a striped frosted cupcake. It's their Shape and Shade Custom Contour Duo by Stila. And I have nothing against Stila. I love them as a brand. I was concerned that that contour was going to look like, I think I said baby poop on my skin. Mm -hmm. And it does. It does. And it's just too oily feeling. Can I see? Can I give it a whirl? I want to just try it. I'll bring it back to you. I just want to see how it. See, it's orange. Even on you, it looks orange. Yeah, it's orange. It looked like a straight up baby shit on my face. Yeah, it's really orange. Like a baby ate a bean burrito and then pooped all over my face. You shouldn't feed babies bean burritos. Well, when you do feed one a bean burrito, that's what it looks like. <laughs> that was a $40 shit in a bucket. I mean, if I added up all the makeup that I bought that I don't use, <gasps> I probably could buy a new car. There's a difference between just not always grabbing for something and then like wanting to light like, something on fire. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's certain things that I'm just like... <sighs> so obviously like we have other products that we love and use, but these were our favorites for this year yeah. that we've constantly reached for. Um, I hope you guys like seeing our likes for the year. Yeah. And um, we're really excited because we finally got over 1,000 subs. Yay! So, thank you. Thank you, friends. Why did I say that? She like that. turned into a Muppet. Frank, you're a Muppet. And our next goal is, you know, get to like 2,000 subs. Or 20. 20,000 yeah, 20. would be great. So, like, share our situation and like this video mm -hmm. and subscribe mm -hmm. to our channel. It's been a great 10 months. I know. It'll be a year in February. Yep. We'll, have, we'll probably have to do something special for our year anniversary. anniversary. And then we would like to do a giveaway of some sort. Yeah. I was so. going to say that. So I think for our anniversary, we'll probably do a giveaway. Yeah. So we hope everybody has a good, safe, happy, healthy yes. new year. Keep, don't drink and drive. No. <laughs> Just, I think I'm going to throw that out there. Well, so Christmas is in 10 days. When you see this, it'll probably be in eight days. Um, so hopefully you guys are all done with your Christmas shopping or, or happy Hanukkah, which is over now. Yep. If you are or, Jewish persuasion. Yes, I have a few clients that are Jewish and one year I said, quote, Merry Christmas. Nope, just kidding. <laughs> and they laughed. <laughs> so happy holidays of any kind, obviously. Mm -hmm. Whatever um, you celebrate or don't. Whatever you don't, because I you just, don't celebrate holidays. I mean, I just like sparkly things and cakes. So that's why I like Christmas. Maybe. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and if, you, if you don't do Christmas, like Christmas isn't your jam, you know, if you're of a preference of no holidays, then have a good Friday. Okay, well, thanks for watching us over the last year and for being our friends. Yes, and that's it, really. See you in the new year. Bye, friends. <laughs> and that's how Krista dies in the new year. And this is how I die. What button do I push? <laughs> I love these. These are the nails. Do I turn this? Uh, you push the button that's facing you. It's got a red dot next to it. The little camera? Yeah. Today. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Where your butt is a ringing. Happy, Happy holidays. holidays to you. I can Spectacular. sing like you have never heard. Like a... I could go and just be Adele. No, I am no Adele. one would know. I'm Adele.